Alright guys, so today we have a Yamaha Raz. Um, it doesn't currently run, but I did get it to start at one point just by kicking it over. And the throttle wasn't working. So I'm going to see if I can get it to run again first and then worry about the throttle. But um, yeah, let's see what we can do. First thing I want to do is take a look at the carb. I'm assuming it's behind this. That's my best guess. So we're going to take this off and see if it's behind here or not. I was able to get three of these screws out, but there's one way up here that I can't get to with this plastic here. So I'm gonna have to take the seat off and then work on taking this whole plastic piece off. All right, seat is off. There was a pin here that I just put down here. That was pretty easy to get off. And now we have like the screw, but that's broken anyways. So we gotta take that off probably. Um, Probably these to get this thing off. Um, and probably these. Because I think that holds it down too. But I think with all those off, this whole plastic piece should come off. Along with this uh, bar here. Alright, I got the plastic off. So now we got easy access to everything. Um, kind of got a makeshift stand out of my tackle box so that that can sit there. But, um, yeah, we'll take the last screw off of this and pull this cover off. Well, these filters have definitely seen better days. I think this was supposed to cover this whole thing, and it does not. But, um, there's nothing I can do about that, so we're going to try to take off this other half of this cover, I believe. I can do it from this and this bolt or screw. Um... I'm going to clean this off a little bit just so I can see better, and then I'll probably take the... Well, we got to the carb. Everything is so dirty, though. I'm going to clean it up nice and good and so we can actually see the carb and see what's going on. Well, I can't figure out where the throttle cable is supposed to run on the carb. I just can't find a spot for it, so I'm going to try to search up a manual and figure that out. So, research time. All right, so it does run. Um, I just kind of cleaned up everything in there a little bit, and I'm thinking... That one of these two here are for the throttle cable, but I don't know which one. I'm thinking it's this one, but I'm gonna end up taking off this front and just following it down to the carb to see which one it is for sure. But yeah, I'll do that. So it's running, but I can right now anyways. So yeah, the throttle doesn't do anything. It's running, so it's always a good sign. I do need to get a new battery for it though too. Disconnected the headlights and stuff, and now the front cover is off. We got four screws, and this thing should come off, and that'll give us access to everything with the throttle cable and everything. So let's start. There are also three more screws. I took the other two out. One just like this on the other side. I connect to the main uh, dash area. So take that last one out and this should be able to pop off. So I can't take it all the way off because that connects to there for some reason it goes around it. And I'm not, I don't feel like messing with this since the choke actually works. So that gave us access to all of this though. And now we can figure out what's going on with the throttle up here. All right, I sprayed some penetrating oil in there and throttle is now loose. It works. Now if I can get it to run long enough, um, I will show you guys. As you can see, it wants to. Um, I gotta figure out where to go from here. Sorry for the thumb in the phone. But uh, it wants to. 
I just gotta figure out where to go from here. All right, I'm gonna take the old battery out. And if it's the same size as the one on my dirt bike, I'm gonna throw it on there just to see if it'll run better with a good battery on it to know if that's where my problems are coming in and that's why it won't stay running. Let's give it a shot with a good battery in it. Almost wants to. Well, it's running. Kinda. Uh, a small vacuum is when I take my hand and I plug it. I feel like that's a good place to end part one of this. Um, found a vacuum leak and it does kind of run now. I think once we fix that, it should be pretty good. So the next video, part two, will probably be the last video. We'll fix the vacuum leak and throw the whole thing back together. And should be good. So I'll see you guys then.